Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a follow-up to my last video that I called Easy Macro Photography. And uh, today's video I'm going to be calling it Easy Extreme Macro Photography. And all I mean by that is we're going to be doing macro photography with magnifications greater than 1 to 1. Okay, so what does that mean? Macro photography, you know, uh, dedicated lenses like the 60 millimeter lens uh, from Olympus tout 1 to 1 uh, magnification for macro photography. I think there are 30 millimeter touts like a 1.3 to 1 magnification. But what does that kind of mean exactly? Sometimes it's kind of hard to visualize and it's, it's actually a little bit difficult to explain. But what that means is if it's a 1 to 1 ratio magnification, basically for every millimeter of subject that you take, okay, picture, that millimeter of the subject will be magnified onto the lens exactly one millimeter, okay? So it's easier to kind of demonstrate than to kind of explain or, or try to visualize from that statement. So I brought a ruler here and the micro four thirds sensor is essentially the size of 17.3 millimeters by 13 millimeters. And you, you see it all the time when you take the lens off, you know, it's not very big, right? It's a little smaller than a postage stamp. Uh, but that being said, if we were to take a picture of this ruler at a one-to-one -one magnification, we would capture in the whole frame exactly 17.3 millimeters of this ruler, okay? So let's just take a picture in and see how that looks. And, you know, I'll be using uh, the same setup as I did before, but the only difference being to achieve this uh, extreme macro is I'm going to be stacking the extension tubes this time. I didn't do that in the last video. And also I'm going to be cheating a little bit using the digital teleconverter. Okay? And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and take a picture here. And go back into live view. And let's see what this looks like. Let me... Oops, apologize for that. Change the focusing mode down to here. And that seems to be about as close as I can get with this setup. So based on that, I captured roughly uh, 21 millimeters of this ruler. So what is that magnification ratio? That's very easy to calculate, okay, with a calculator. You just put in 17.3 and you divide that by 21 and I get 0.82. So the maximum magnification that I can achieve with this setup, again, I have uh, a 10 millimeter, 16 millimeter extension tube stacked with the 40 to 150 kit lens on the M10 Mark II. I'm getting a 0.82 uh, magnification to one, okay? And that's, that's pretty close to one to one already, right? But if we use the digital teleconverter, okay, we can effectively double that. So we should be closer to 1.6, right? So let's turn that on. Let's see here. It's in shooting menu one. And already you can see a big difference. Right about there. And if we look at that picture, you'll see, yeah, we covered or captured 11 millimeters. Now, what's that magnification? If we take 17.3 divided by 11, we get a 1.57. So, not bad. Not bad, okay? So we're capturing 1.57 to 1 magnification. So that's what the magnifications mean when you look at the, the lens data and they tell you what the maximum magnification of it is. That's what they're talking about is how much of the image can you capture relative to the size of the sensor, hence the, the 1 to 1, 0.3 to 1. I think the 12 to 40 Pro is... Uh, has a magnification of 0.3 to 1, so it's pretty good, uh, just natively speaking. Okay, let's look at some of the settings I use to sort of optimize this uh, macro photography. Okay, and uh, 
let me just double check the uh, digital tally converter is on and then I go down here to the exposure menu and I turn off the uh, noise filter because digital tally converter is a JPEG only feature so by turning off the uh, uh, noise filter you're keeping as much detail as possible in the JPEG file because noise filters you know as you know uh, smudges details and takes color out etc so I always turn that to uh, off and then I go into the uh, pixel icon here or color white balance settings and I'm going to change this to super fine so that's the maximum uh, detail I can get out of the JPEG is setting the uh, <clears throat> this pixel icon to or, or picture mode icon to super fine okay and uh, that's it really there and then in the super control panel um, I'm gonna move this to ISO 200 for the optimal ISO setting and then you'll notice the uh, the autofocus areas change a little bit it's showing um, fewer focus points that's because we're in digital teleconverter mode right so we're using a smaller part of the sensor hence we're getting to use less of the uh, focus points so I'm just going to change this to a single point okay and then um, I'm going to change my shutter to a two second anti-shock delay which is right here okay and that's because my tr uh, tripod is not very steady and it also helps illuminate any shake by you pushing the shutter okay uh, and then also uh, now I can select large super fine for the maximum JPEG quality I'm gonna turn off face detect but I'm also gonna turn on uh, single point autofocus with manual focus okay and I'll come back to that later why I use the manual focus when I'm doing macro all right, so that's pretty much it for the settings, okay? Let's, um, let's do some real life uh, pictures, right? Um, you know, I, earlier I went out into my backyard and, and, and that's the beautiful thing about macro photography is, is you don't have to like go out to the mountains or you don't have to get in a helicopter, right? You don't have to go to a big city. I mean, you can go right into your backyard and there's a whole planet right there for you to take pictures of with macro photography.